All right, so I have been looking around for some new benchmarks or newer benchmarks or benchmarks I haven't even seen before. And this is a Nova benchmark, and I've actually never seen it before. I'll put the link there so you can download it and give it a shot and run it. I've already got it installed. So um, let's just go ahead and run it and see what uh, happens with it. I've ran it a couple times before, and um, it's very inconsistent. But there's not a lot to the benchmark. It's pretty quick. Um. I'm curious to see what this third result's going to be because I've changed absolutely nothing on the system. I got a 4,800, just ran it, got a 5,200. So now it's like, okay, what am I going to get now? There's a lot of benchmarks, like 3D market stuff. I can run that benchmark and it's really close. I mean, we're talking really close every time I run it if I don't change any settings. This one right here, I mean, that's a big jump, 48 to 52. I'm almost tempted just to go ahead and take the whole system and just overclock the shit out of everything and see what I can get, but I'm not up to it right now. But I was very curious to see what this benchmark would bring. There's some things you got to do it like you do it like two out of three or something like that. You know what I mean? You do a few benchmarks and see what you get the averages. So we got a 52.47 and a 52.80. So I want to go with these ones now versus this one two days ago. I don't know what's changed since two days ago. But I think the GPU score is the biggest difference. But I don't recall updating any drivers. Maybe, maybe not. Did I update the driver or not? I don't think I did. Oh, well. There's not much to this benchmark. Look at a pro version you can buy, but the pro version, I, don't, I looked at what the options were that gives you. If you buy the pro and upgrade it, it's just not worth it. Not for something just to download and take a look. Two forty-seven. So two forty-seven. Overview. Terrible. <laughs> Got a red color to it. You know it's terrible, right? 16. I have no idea. CPU tuning guide? That's kind of weird. Um, GPU percentile. That seems to be fine. What is this? I'm going to say it's probably has to do with the benchmark and not really knowing what to do with the E cores versus the P cores, right? Probably what it is. Not too concerned about it. We'll do a mid-level gaming PC in 2021. I just don't care for this benchmark as far as how it lays things out. Definitely a lot of ads in the way. I don't know. I mean, it's 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 free, so you just download it and give it a shot and see what you guys think. I really, it's really another one of those benchmarks I'm not too impressed by. I really, I really think I like 3D Mark overall. I think a lot of people use 3D Mark as kind of a standard. But yeah, I'll put a link for it. I'll see you guys later.